in. So on this video, I really wanted to do something fun. So I thought I'll show you how to make these really cute teddy bear cupcake toppers. Now these are perfect for birthday cakes or christenings or baby showers, any kind of celebration really. So let's get started. Okay, so to make the teddy bear cupcake topper, what I've got here is all the tools that I'm going to need, starting with all of the icing or fondant that I've coloured in, all the colours that we're going to need, my cupcake and all the different tools that we'll run through as we make the cupcake topper. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually make the plaque that is going to sit on top of the cupcake, which the teddy bear is going to go on to. So what I've got here is just a scalloped cookie cutter and I've just made sure that this is going to be around the right size just to fit on the top of the cupcake. And then what I've got here is some icing which I've just coloured in this pretty mint green colour. So I'm going to put some corn flour down there and just roll this out. Okay, so now I've got my icing rolled out. What I want to do is just put a pattern in the background so it's not so plain. Now you can get embossing sheets and embossing rolling pins. I'm just going to use this butterfly cutter and embosser. So what I'm going to do is just push that into the icing just hard enough so that you can see the indent but not hard enough to cut through. Okay, so now we've got the butterfly pattern on there. I'm gonna take the cookie cutter and just place that on top so that each part of it has part of the background on there and just push that down. Okay, so now we've got the plaque that the topper is gonna to sit on. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create the teddy bear. So I'm gonna put this to one side um, and it doesn't matter if that starts drying slightly. And what I've got here is two different shades of brown for our teddy bear. Okay, so this one has actually been coloured with some sugar flare chestnut um, and also a little bit of the Walton ivory. And the same with this one, I've just not made it as dark. So first of all, I'm going to take a ball of the darker one. Now what we want to do is just flatten that out until we get the size of the teddy bear's face. Okay, so for the size of the teddy bear's face, I just want it to sit on one side of the little plaque so that we can have the balloon on the other side. So this face is going to be about an inch in height and about one and a half inches across. And I'm just going to smooth that out so that you've got kind of these curved edges. So it's going to make kind of a 3D teddy bear on the top. And what I'm going to do is not apply that to the plaque at the moment. So I'm just going to put that to one side again. And using this flat knife tool, what I'm going to do is just along the top, just pop it in and pull down slightly to make this little indent in the teddy bear's face. Okay, so next we're going to make his ears. So what I've got here is just a very small ball, kind of pea size um, of the icing, which I'm just going to flatten down. And then using the small ball tool, I'm just going to push into the center of that to make a little indent. And then gonna take my knife and just cut that in half. So there we have his two ears. So I'm just gonna use a small amount of edible glue and just on the side of his head, just attach those. Okay, so now we've got the size of his face, what I'm gonna do is create his body so we can start building this up on the small plaque. So I've just got a piece of the darker brown icing here, which I'm gonna roll out. And because I want his body to come off of the side of the plaque, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm just gonna cut the scallop shape out again so that we can just place this on the top and work out where his body is gonna go so we know where to cut. So I'm just gonna place the teddy bear on the top and then just roughly put the lines in where his neck's going to be. And then I can take those bit off and just cut those shapes out. So now we've got his body shape cut out, I can just put a little bit of edible glue onto there and just stick that down. I can then place his head on top. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna continue working on his face. So I've got some of the light color brown here. So I'm just gonna take a smallish kind of ball, flatten that out slightly, and just make it slightly wider. And then just on one side, flatten that down, creating kind of a ridge at the top, which his nose is gonna sit on, and just stick that on. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a knife and from the bottom up to where his nose is gonna be, just put a thin line into that. And then using this modeling tool, so we've got this um, pointy end here and this kind of spoon end here, I'm gonna create his mouth. So just underneath where we've put the new front bit, I'm gonna push this end in and just pull it down slightly. And then using the pointy end, I'm just gonna push up from one side just to create this kind of smiling face. And then just at the end of that, just put a little cheeky grin mark there. I'm gonna take some black icing and we're gonna create his nose and his eyes. So for his nose, I'm just gonna take a small amount of the black and just roll that slightly so it's a bit wider. And then with some edible glue, just place that on the end. And then using this pointy end again, what I'm gonna do is at the top of where the light color is, just create two little indent marks so I'm gonna roll two very small black balls. And just with a little bit of edible glue, I'm gonna place those. He's got his eyes. And then with this pointy tool again, I'm just gonna dig that in slightly above his eyes, just to create two little eyebrows. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually create the balloon here. So what I've got here is just some icing that I've colored in the Wilton Rose color. And I'm gonna create a ball of that, and then I'm gonna flatten the ball out, but create kind of point at one end. And just make sure that the edges are smoothed down, like we did with the teddy bear's head, so you're getting this kind of 3D effect. Okay, so I'm gonna put a small amount of edible glue on there. And what I wanna do is when I place it on the plaque, I just want it to overhang on the edge slightly. And then for the bottom of the balloon, where you tie the knot, I'm gonna take a very small amount of the pink icing and just roll a small ball. Take this cone tool and just push that onto the ball or into the ball and then create a point at one end. I'm then gonna take that off and using the pointy tool, I'm just gonna go around the bottom and make some indents so it's not completely perfect. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit of edible glue at the bottom of the balloon and just place this on like that. Okay, so now we have the main part of the teddy bear and the balloon, I'm gonna create the teddy bear's arms. So I'm gonna take some more of the brown color and first of all, work on the arm that would be this side. This arm would actually come off of the plaque. So all I'm gonna do is just take a very small amount of the brown and just flatten that down. I'm then just gonna pop a little bit of glue there and just place that. And then just gonna use my knife and just trim that off. Okay, so for the other arm, what we want is it for it to come down and curl round and that's gonna hold the string of the balloon. So I've got a ball of ice in here and I'm just gonna roll that out so it's thinner at one end. So you've got this point and then flatter on the other. And then I'm just gonna flatten that out slightly. So I want the bear to have a little thumb. So what I'm gonna do is just put an indent in there and just flatten that out slightly and then kind of make a wrist. And then what I'm gonna do is take this point and turn it back on itself. Now this is just gonna wrap around the front so that we can tuck balloon string in there. A bit of edible glue onto the back of that. Stick that down. So now I'm gonna take some white, roll that 
into a really small ball and then just pop a bit of glue on the end of his nose and stick that on so we've got a little highlight and then I'm going to take another small amount pull this out into a sausage shape and just make the each end slightly pointed and place a little bit of the glue just on the edge of the balloon pick that up Okay, so now I'm going to add the piece of string from the balloon into the bear's hand and I'm just going to roll that out into a really thin sausage shape. And then with some edible glue, I'm just going to pop a little bit of that inside the bottom of the balloon, inside so it sticks. I'm then going to just pull it down and just slightly lift up the part of his hand there and just place it underneath. Cut the excess off of that end. Okay, so just to finish it off, I'm just gonna bring in some edible petal dust here. So first of all, I've got some dusky pink. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my paintbrush and then just give him some pink cheeks. And then I'm also going to take, I've got some pearl luster dust here, which I'm just going to mix with a tiny bit of a dark pink here. And I'm just going to lightly brush those over the balloon, just to give it a really pretty shimmery colour. Okay, so there we have our teddy bear cupcake topper. Now what you wanna do is just leave the topper for a few hours just to dry, just so you can pick it up and place it on top of your cupcake. You then just wanna add a small amount of buttercream onto the top just to stick it on. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and will enjoy making your own teddy bear cupcake topper. If you did, then please give this video a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please click subscribe.